Okay, so number three. I've got supporter network and you've got volunteer engagement. Almost the same, the same thing. Yeah, basically the same. Um, so campaigns are driven by volunteers and money. Yes. Um, it would be great if they were just driven by volunteers. Yes. <laughs> um, <clears throat> before you get started, I always say you've got to have a strategy. Okay, somebody says they like you. What's the next step? They say, okay, they're going to support you. You're going to get them on your database. You're going to engage them, give them some options of things to yep. do, and then start moving them forward. What should happen is you should be able to migrate people from basic to expert over a course of time. What absolutely. are your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. And I think um, with all the technology that campaigns are using now, it's easy to lose focus of some of the simple things that don't require technology to really bring people in the door. Um, so not everyone is going to use kind of the uh, minivan and go canvas. Not everyone's going to do that. Um, as much as we would love everyone to go door to door, that just isn't the reality. So having things at your headquarters that people can do that are not going to phone bank and not going to canvas, um, but maybe they can do fundraising thank you cards or um, that those kinds organize of things. Organize canvas are, packs. Organize canvas packs. Make copies. Do data entry. Um, all of those things are kind of the lifeblood of a campaign and just having tasks available for people at every level, kind of meet people where they are and welcome them and engage them and make it a very welcoming atmosphere and uh, express extreme gratitude all the time. So I just want to point out, if you are a field organizer and you are spending all your time on your computer, you are not doing your job. You should be greeting volunteers and engaging volunteers. Anytime you have something you need to do on the computer, see if you can get a volunteer to do it for you. Yeah. Because your job is to basically greet them, make them feel comfortable, make them feel... Make them want to come back. Enjoy the experience. Yeah. Make them feel like they are yeah. valued. Uh, so, <clears throat> I hate visibilities. Me I too. hate Me too. lawn signs. <laughs> Me too. But, these are entry-level <laughs> drugs. <laughs> it is very important to understand that most people will not immediately start calling strangers on the phone. So having people do visibilities is an important part of any campaign, but you can't just let them stop there. You've got to be able to say, hey, here's the next level up. Uh, please help us yep. engage. I, a lot of times what I would do is I'd do a visibility in a community um, at a specific section, and then I'd have canvas packs with me. So I'd say we're doing a canvas. After the visibility, would you mind knocking on 10 doors? Now, a lot of people will go for the 100 door packet. You can't break no. people that way. No. Um, you want to get to the hundred doors, but you got to start slow. Small. So volunteers are huge. Money and volunteers are huge. Volunteers and just that whole <clears throat> management strategy of uh, feeding people. Feeding I think people, very huge deal. I think it's very important to have. Thanking um, them. In, in the gratitude, I think you cannot thank people enough who are giving of your time. I ran for office a long time ago. Um, the distant galaxy. <laughs> And it was amazing to me. I think one of the things that I took away from my experience was that a lot of the people initially when I announced my candidacy that I thought would be like my core volunteers were not, mm -hmm. just for whatever reason, life circumstances, whatever. Um, and I met people I had never, ever, ever met before that ended up giving thousands of hours of their time uh, volunteering. And just like that, thanking them and making it a fun place to be. And, um, building a community within your campaign is just, I mean, I have some of my closest friends in my whole life from campaigns, so it's... It's a really bizarre experience. <laughs> so, there, campaigns are like a time capsule. Yeah. So you enter into a campaign, you start working with a lot of people, and you get a very intense experience. Uh, and these people become vital to your life. Yeah. And the campaign ends, you either won or lost, but regardless, you need a couple days to regroup, and then all of a sudden you start missing them. Yeah. The weirdest experience was when I was on the Obama campaign, and I'm working with a volunteer, Su Susan was her name, uh, and we literally met three days before, and it was Susan's birthday. And she, I say, happy birthday. I didn't even know it was your birthday. And she goes, how did you not know it was your birthday? I was like, Susan, I literally just <laughs> met you. <laughs> But we had spent like almost 72 hours right. together. It's very so intense. It's a very intense very experience. Intense. A lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of a little bit of a drug. 